So I started brewing beer back in the summer of 2019. Um, and it started like anything else where I found a free kit on Craigslist and made some beer that was so terrible, I'm pretty sure it could give you cancer. Um, and, you know, I put it in bottles like these, um, let it naturally carbonate for two weeks. And uh, after talking to some friends, I, I found a guy at the Humbers Association who had two kegs lying around and he gave them to me for free. And so I was like, wow, this this is a game changer. Uh, you know, I can I can have beer ready as soon as it's done fermenting now. This is crazy. So um, off that dream, I, I had this at the same time and got it around the summer as well uh, from a, an old horse lady on Craigslist. Um, she had a chest freezer that had been sitting like, I think, in her open barn for what seemed like years. It was in terrible condition. It looked horrible. Still looks horrible. But, you know, slap some decorative wood on it and it's all good. Um, so I took that chest freezer and I'll put a picture of it here in a second. And I uh, glued all this wood to the side that we had laying around. Um, this is also wood that was laying around. I tried to stain it right here, but it looks like a six-year-old did it because I didn't know you had to use a wet cloth. Um, so it looks like the side of a pirate ship in a kid's museum. But uh took all the wood some two by sixes uh, made essentially just extended the height of the freezer so that I could drill through it. Cause if I tried to drill through this, I'd be, you know, drilling through lines and God knows what's inside of a freezer. Um, but got a couple more kegs, a ton of lines. I have a CO2 uh, distributor. It's called a manifold. And so from a 10 pound CO2 tank, which has about 800 pounds per square inch of uh, CO2, in there comes through this blue line and distributes to every single keg at the same pressure. Um, I could add regulators to have different pressures, but I mean, since I'm serving beer, sparkling water and kombucha, and I, I don't really see the need to have different pressures, but um, we also are using a temperature regulator and this thing will kick the freezer on and off according to what temperature it reads. So right now, it's 39 degrees, so it kicked the freezer on because it wants to come down to 38. Um, and I've been using that since day one when I had this thing, or else it would just freeze everything. But um, yeah, that's that's the, this is called a keezer or a kegerator um, that I just glued some wood to and voila, here we go. Um, and lastly, this board, funny story too, cost me about maybe $8. I just got some hardboard from Home Depot and some chalkboard spray paint. <clears throat> and here we go. Jess and I came up with this logo one night and uh, yeah, it's a great way to display what's on tap. So um, I love I love showing people this. Um, I didn't think I'd ever make something like this. It's, it's kind of surreal that I have it. So uh, there you go.